Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Troy with Sickle Bros. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on the Geophagus spinae, an absolutely beautiful Geophagus species that I've absolutely enjoyed keeping over the years. We're going to look at the growth rate and the evolution of these fish for about a four year span since I got them when they were really small to now some beautiful, stunning Geophagus. So, Let's dive right in. So I picked up four Geophagus finae originally from Imperial Tropicals in August of 2020. So this is about three years and nine months ago. And I originally put them in my 38 gallon quarantine tank. And as you can see, they were tiny. When I got them, it said they were supposed to be two inches, but they may have even been a little smaller than that. And they didn't really have much color yet. They were very bland. They didn't have the big spiked dorsal fin yet. And this is probably the size you'll see them for sale at most local fish stores or online retailers. And a big reason for that is that Geophagus species do tend to take much longer to grow than other cichlids. And you'll probably see that throughout this video because they started small and it took them a really long time to actually get their color and kind of reach their max potential. But most fish retailers won't have that time or resource to put into fish to grow that long. So you'll likely see them around this size. And then around December of 2020, about four months later, I put them into my 75 gallon tank where I rescaped it. You can see a little rainbow cichlid there with them, but they really haven't put on much size yet. They're still about two and a half inches and they were always really active and they weren't really shy at all. They were sand sifting, displaying that unique geophagus earth eating behavior, which is so cool to see. But this being four months in, they really hadn't grown much. They did start to show a little bit of that metallic sheen throughout their body, but but it really wasn't standing out yet. And then another three months later in March of 2021, they're still in the 75 gallon tank with some other tank mates like the Nicaraguan cichlid and the electric blue acara, but they really hadn't put on much size yet. And you'll start to see that it takes a while for these guys to grow even in good conditions. And you could really see the potential of some of that awesome color that these guys were eventually going to get around this time. And then four months later in July 2021, you could see maybe one or two of them seem to have grown pretty well, maybe up to about three inches and getting that spiked dorsal fin. But then another five months later in December 2021, this is when you can really start to see some growth happening finally. And this is about a year and four months after I originally picked them up where they had gone from two to maybe four inches total. And two of them were putting on some more size, but the other two were still kind of lagging behind. Definitely not over four inches yet. But the biggest update at this point is I actually added a bigger Geophagus fin. I, I ordered a separate one from Imperial Tropicals and it looks like it came from a different collection point and breeder than my other group because it has a little more red in it. So you'll see the difference throughout the rest of the video of this bigger guy compared to the others. He definitely has some more red coloration throughout his body where the others have more silver and blues. But the next big update was in March of 2022, about two years ago. That is when I set up the 150 gallon custom aquarium, one of my favorite all time tanks, but this was just the beginning of it. And the five Geophagus fin I went in here along with some electric blue acara and a pistogramma, a couple angel fish, and later on some Denison barbs. But you can see these guys really grew a lot in that span. So I would say about a year and a half of owning them is when they really had their growth spurt. And maybe two of them reached about five inches where two of the smaller ones stayed around three and a half to four inches. And you can see the bigger newer addition here is really looking great. Just beautiful red and blues and metallic sheen to him. And he also has some trailers. So he's probably about five and a half inches, kind of leading the group in overall size. But then in June of 2022, they had been in this new bigger tank for about three months and you could definitely see growth. All of these guys are starting to come into their own, starting to show much more of that metallic coloration. There was maybe only one of them that was still hanging behind a little bit in terms of growth, but all of them were starting to get those really cool spiked dorsal fins. And a couple of them were even getting the trailers on their tails. So some really good growth, size and color coming in from that one and a half to two year mark of owning them. And then a couple of months later in October, 2022, they are all looking great. This is an update on the tank about six months in and all these guys were really starting to come into their own and looking great. And March of 2023, one year since they've been in the 150 gallon aquarium, you can see all of the awesome growth that came with these guys, the spiked dorsal fins, all of them have great color and they really seem to get better every single day I look in the tank. This is about two and a half years of owning them. And like I said, 
They are slow growers, but it was already starting to pay off in a really big way. I really felt like they were becoming my favorite fish at this point. Maybe a little bit behind the Oscar and Severums, but they were getting there and that color was just incredible. And also the 150 gallon tank was really starting to come into its own as well with a lot of the plants and Anubias starting to grow in. And geophagus do well with live plants as long as they're tied down and secured. Sometimes they'll be sifting through the sand and uproot some of those plants, but uh, they've done really well with the Anubias, Java Fern, and other tied down plants that I have in this 150 gallon tank. But another thing to just keep in mind with all geophagus, absolutely they need a sand substrate. So if you are gonna be keeping a geophagus species, make sure you do right by them and get that sand substrate. And then about six months later in October of 2023, you can see four of these guys in here are really looking great. Beautiful trailers coming in on two of them. But the one unfortunate update is I did lose one of the original four that I had picked up. I really don't know what happened. I just came home one day and he was dead in the tank. So the group that I had that was five was now four. I still had three of the original plus the one that I picked up about a year ago, the big one with the red coloration. But I had a suspicion that the one that I lost was due to a little bit of aggression that came in with the group of Geophagus finni. Maybe two were trying to pair off and the other one got in the way because in January of 2024, I posted a video of moving one of my Geophagus finni to my 180 because there was some big time aggression happening with two of the biggest finni. One of them was really starting to become lethargic, stressed out, and I definitely didn't want to lose them, so I moved one of them into the 180. And you might remember that video. I was trying to pull out one of the males, and I accidentally pulled out the female because I was trying not to destroy my aquascape here, and it was kind of a fish keeping fail, but I was able to move one of them into my 180, and as you can see, it looks absolutely stunning in the 180 and it actually evened out the aggression in the 150, so I just kind of let it be. Right now I have three of the spin eye in the 150, and this one here in the 180, and as you can see, that size is just incredible at about eight or nine inches now. So here we are today, I have three Geophagus spin eye in the 150, and I have one in the 180. So taking a closer look at the 180 today, this is the big Geophagus spin eye that looks incredible in this tank setup and with this lighting, you can see how tall this fish has gotten, especially with that spiked dorsal fin. The reds and blues and metallic coloration just truly popping. The red sheen and their dorsal and tail fins are incredible. You can also see the size comparison of this one here with some of the other fish like the Oscar, who's definitely over a foot in length. This guy is definitely at around eight, maybe nine inches in total length. And then when you look back in the 150 gallon aquarium, this guy has really grown and his trailers have came in nicely. He's probably the same size at around maybe eight to nine inches. And also the one with more red coloration that I picked up more recently, he has also grown very nicely and is about the same size. So three of the Geophagus finni in total are around that eight to nine inch mark. Really big for Geophagus species and obviously some really beautiful color. But there is one of the group that stayed a bit smaller you'll probably see there. This one's probably only about six inches I would guess and doesn't really have the trailers. I'm assuming that's just a female or just a little slower of a grower than you'll usually see with Geophagus finni. But yeah, I cannot get enough of these guys now. The coloration, the trailers, the spiked dorsal fin, and that sand sifting behavior all just makes for one of the most unique, beautiful fish that I've ever kept, and they have definitely risen to the top of my list. But even though there's a little bit of aggression within the group a couple months ago, they've actually been really peaceful fish with angels and tetras and electric blue cars, and they've caused no issues there. So it's like you get this majestic big fish with cool behaviors and you don't have to worry about any of those aggression issues usually. So with a few of them being around that eight to nine inch range, they probably are maxing out in size. They might get a little bit thicker, maybe slightly bigger, and their trailers might grow in just a tad more. But I think they definitely reach the majority of the final size that they'll be. But I'm just gonna enjoy these guys for as long as possible. It's definitely been worth the wait. Just being patient with Geophagus species really pays off in the end with any of the different species that I've kept over the years, but the spin eye might have topped them all. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the growth rate and evolution of the Geophagus spin eye that I have here. They're absolutely beautiful, show-stopping fish now. I also did a growth rate video on the Geophagus tapos or pyrocephalus, and you can see that video here. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.